What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how I landed a fashion internship in New York City. Being from Kentucky, I know that's a big deal and something that's usually not common to get. So I'm going to give you a little tips on if you're shooting for a big internship and um, don't know where to start, um, how to come about those types of things. Okay, so let's rewind a bit. So I go to the University of Kentucky and uh, I'm double majoring in fa or it's fashion kind of, but it's merchandise apparel and textiles and integrated strategic communications. Um, but being from Kentucky, you're not really studying much fashion, you're studying more um, buying and merchandising. Um, I like to be more on the creative aspect of the fashion industry. So when I saw we needed an internship, that was my chance to kind of go big or go home because I don't want to be in Kentucky forever trying to pursue fashion because I probably won't make it very far. So I started doing some research online of fashion internships that you could do. Um, UK does provide you with fashion, intern fashion internships, but most of them are local. And then the ones that are in like New York City or Chicago are more based on from our degree. So it would be more like buying and merchandising. So I ended up doing some research on Indeed. I, Indeed and LinkedIn. So what I did was I went on LinkedIn and I found people who worked at, people who worked in New York City or worked in Chicago or worked in big cities. Um, and we're in the fashion industry. And I tried to connect with them and I also saw what their steps were to getting to where they're at. Um, so, and this one girl that I had seen, she had done an internship through Fashion Week. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know Fashion Week even like did internships. They don't, at least. They didn't try, for me at least. Um, so a little bit about that. So I originally was interning through Fashion Week. Um, I had a position in Milan, Italy. I had six positions that I could choose from actually. Um, it was gonna be amazing. And then UK told me that I couldn't go overseas because of, you know, COVID. So I switched it to New York City. Once I made that switch, everything just kind of went downhill. Um, Fashion Week, their internships are literally, if you look online, Fashion Week internships. And they have about like six different locations. And so I was like, it'll be fine. I'll just switch it to New York. We switched it over. I talked about, I've been talking with my manager through Fashion Week since January. Um, still to this day, I haven't even been confirmed a spot with them. So as you can tell, I went with a different option. So Fashion Week did not go as planned. They actually were terrible working with me. So if you do um, ever want to intern through Fashion Week, maybe don't do it during COVID and do it not in the United States because they're not based out of the United States. And I don't know if that was had anything to do with it, but basically that first internship opportunity I got went down the drain. Um, so then I started going independently on Indeed and just setting my filters to New York City, fashion, stylist, design, any type of thing in the fashion category. Um, I filtered it to that and I, have my, I put my notifications on to notify me every time a position opened for an intern and applied to as many as I could that interested me or fit what I needed. So the one that ended up coming up, so when this happened, this was the beginning of May, like May 1st or so. And they, the brand that I'm working with, um, I don't think it'll matter if I tell you the brand, but it's called Anna Sui. It's A-N-N-A-S-U-I, you can look them up on Instagram. They're a smaller like designer company. They do make designer clothes and runway couture. Um, a lot of it is just for the runway. They have, they, what's cool about them is they work directly out of New York City. They don't have overseas companies. 
or anywhere else in the US, it's all it all comes out of the garment district in New York City. Um, so they reached out to me and they were like, you're able to start whenever you can. And I was like, May 10th, I can be there. Um, and then they ended up sending the paperwork through and everything went through and I got the position um, working with their production team. I packed all my stuff up and moved to New York. I live in my brother's apartment, so that actually worked out really nicely because he also lives here. So I landed one through Indeed. That was how I got it. Um, I did have a portfolio that I had made and my portfolio was not like all that because you technically aren't gonna have that much of a portfolio unless you're going to school for fashion. Um, so I started building my portfolio less than a year ago and I just put all of the stuff in there that I have designed, um, my styling, um, some of me modeling, um, just pretty much every creative thing in the fashion industry all in one portfolio and I sent that to every person that I applied with. Um, so they could also like get an, like, an idea of like who I was and everything like that. So that's something I would highly recommend to do. Um, my resume also, it was stacked pretty well. Um, I, do, I did already have an internship that I had di done in 2019. Um, I have been working since then too. And then I took on another job actually right before I left because I didn't think I was leaving because I, I didn't find out until a week before I was supposed to be here. Um, so having a good resume, things on your resume, um, a portfolio, and then just literally reaching out to anyone you can. The connections I made were all by myself. I didn't have any help. I did it all, like I worked really hard to like find these things. I mean, if you're a good investigator like I am, you're gonna be good at finding, you know, what you wanna do and like who to contact and whatnot. Um, so connect if you don't have a linkedin or an indeed i highly recommend you get on that because that's where your biggest connections are going to come from and that is how i landed my internship in new york city um i did let everybody know though like that i applied to like hey i live in kentucky and that was one of the harder things being from kentucky they want someone who's kind of local because you know the area it's easy like you can start whenever like it's just more convenient um so that was a struggle being from kentucky but i did let everybody know i put cover letters for every application and i put in the cover letter like i'm willing to relocate to new york city for the summer um, to complete this internship it will be no problem blah 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 let them know like i'm really willing to come here and intern and experience something that i couldn't get an experience from in kentucky um so if you're from anywhere not like a big city like this just let them know like you're willing to work with them you're willing to move or um relocate or whatever that may be the unfortunate thing is my internship is not paid so that's not the reason why i'm with my brother it has just helped a lot i got really fortunate for that even though so i'm working with the production team and even though that's not really like what i want to do I, I am inside of where they make the entire brand. So I see from start to finish. I see the designers, I see the pattern makers, I see the cutting of the fabric. And then I help with it getting sent off to the production team for it, them to actually produce it. And then it's brought back to the company and I get to see the finished products and um, really just gain some knowledge in each department. So that's something too, even if you don't get an internship directly in exactly what you want to be doing, you're going to learn things no matter what. Um, I've done a lot of running around like the garment district and like seeing where um, people like each floor is a different store just making their products and meeting with the like seamstresses, meeting with the contractors, meeting with everybody has been like a crazy experience and taught me a lot of what goes into making a brand or making a company in the fashion industry it's just it's been very eye-opening to me and i have learned a lot and i've only been working for two weeks so um basically anything you find in your field that's open you should take it and if they they offer you something in it you should take it especially if it's an internship 
you're only here for a certain amount of time anyways and regardless you're going to learn something being in such a different environment i would never learn this in kentucky ever it's been it's been a great experience and it is a whole different environment but you just have to put yourself out there and you have to step outside of your comfort zone to get the results you are going to want in the future like now just having this on my resume and having this like on my linkedin and on my indeed people see it and they're like oh like that's that's cool and she's actually gone and stepped out into a little bit of what it's going to be like in the real world yeah i think that i definitely recommend to go out of where you live and, and i mean shoot for the stars go as go as hard as you can go as high as you can make that portfolio even if it's just like a rough draft of like your stuff um or watch youtube videos on how to make a portfolio and just send it to companies send it to people email them reach out to them it's not going to fall in your lap at all you have to work for it and i think that's what a lot of people don't understand is that they think oh well it'll come to me when it needs to come no that's not going to happen especially if you want something this big you you're going to have to do some research and figure out and like reach out and take what you can get. That was how I landed my internship in New York City and a little bit of tips of how to even get into it or step your feet in the water. But that's really all. Um, there's obviously more details into it and I obviously had something that failed at first and then that kind of shot me down. I was like, I'm not gonna, nothing's gonna happen. And then the next week I landed an internship. So never give up. Something will always happen. Keep trying, don't stop trying. Um, reach out to people, make a portfolio, build your resume, and just be the best person you can be with whatever you're trying to do. So that's really all I have for you all to kind of hopefully help you move forward and get an internship of your dreams in a city that you love. Anybody can do it. I'm from a very small town in Kentucky and I did it. So anybody can do it. You just have to put yourself out there. So that's all I have for you all. If you watched this far, thank you for watching. Um, comment below what you want to do or where you want to be in life or what internships you want to get. And let me know what or how I could help you if you would want me to. Thanks for watching. I'm going to post some more about my internship along the way and when I finish, how it all went. Um, like and subscribe if you want to follow along and turn on my post notifications and i hope you all enjoyed this video so i'll see you in the next one